Um, you, you also have two, two different parts. One is who is Lucifer and the other is the light of Christ. And I wondered if you could address that, those, those two different poles. For sure. So understanding Lucifer, you, you hear a lot of different things. Um, Lucifer is the devil. Maybe Lucifer is Beelzebub or even Lucifer is Satan, those kind of things. But just addressing, you know, in, in the book, I address the Satan thing. What is, what is a Satan? The word Satan means adversary. One who is opposing the will of God, the perfect sovereign will of the universe for your life. Anything that comes against that is acting as a Satan, right? And will be dealt with. Um, so the, the Lucifer, though, that, that term specifically is only mentioned of one time in the Bible. And when it's mentioned, it's in the book of Isaiah chapter 14. And when it's being used, it's saying, uh, Lucifer, how thou has exalted thyself among the stars in the heavens and amongst the people and claim to be like God, right? And he's saying, because of this, because of your, because of your pomp, because of, um, how um, audacious you are to do this. And it's, it's, it's an um, analogy or an allegory because it's referring to the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, who had the Israelites enslaved. And it was a warning from God channeled essentially through Isaiah saying, look, if you don't let God's people go, there's gonna be, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> you need to let them go or you're gonna fall. Um, Lucifer, that's a analogy or reference to the planet Venus, or what is called, what is known as the, the bright and morning star. And it says, just, just as the bright and morning star is the brightest star or planet in, in the morning sky, especially being a stargazer, when you go out, the brightest one that you see, let's say, you know, four in the morning, is the, the brightest thing in the sky. It was Sirius for a while, Sirius has moved on. But Venus, the planet Venus is the brightest object in the sky and it has all the glory and it's shining in its splendor until the rising of the sun. And when the sun rises, all the other stars bow down to this one star, which is the sun. They bow down and so Venus is cast out of heaven in all of its splendor and it's made to bow down to the, you know, the one and, and it, uh, uh, the scriptures and antiquity the bible says the lord is a sun like the the bible uses references of, of uh, astrology and astro uh, theology of the sun being god in the midst of all of this so i uh, saying look if you don't repent if you don't let god's people go you're gonna fall and so it's he's talking to the king of babylon ne nebuchadnezzar and in in the way you know this because if you continue to read in that chapter he kind of tells you he says is this not the man that did make the earth to tremble, that did weaken the nations, is a man. It didn't say, is this the spirit? Is this the entity? Is this the devil? Is whatever, is this the power of principality? Says, is this not the man that caused the na nations to tremble? And you're gonna see him uh, brought to naught. You're gonna see him just like the, the king of Babylon and all these other uh, kings were, there was, they fell, they fell from the heavens, they fell from grace. And, uh, and, 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 and knowing how much astrology is within the Bible. And then the Bible mentions Orion, the Bible mentions the Pleiades, and it talks about them and uses all of these references. And so it was just kind of, it, it goes along with the verbiage of the scriptures of, of, of astrology and astronomy. So that's where the Lucifer thing comes in. Um, as far as the Jesus part, right? Um, who is Jesus in the light of Christ? I go into what the, the Bible talks about in the book of um, Colossians about um, who Jesus is. And it talks about he was the first born um, among many brethren. It says that he was uh, there when God created the universes, when God created everything, Jesus was, was there. And, it, and not only was it created through him, but it was created for him. So it paints the picture of going back and really just uh, picking apart that verse in Colossians um, about how like Christ is supreme, the white light of truth, of love being supreme. Uh, as far as when we uh, 
uh, a basic understanding of Jesus would be love that became a person. If there was perfect love that was embodied in a form of, per of a person, it was Jesus, the righteousness of God in the flesh. The, he who, who knew no sin, he came to earth and he did this thing right. He did it perfect, right? So he showed us how to do it. But in regard to the spirit realm, and these other demons and entities and powers and principalities and elementals and ghosts and goblins and keep going. The, the, the list doesn't stop. And I think the book paints that picture, but showing that they all answer to the supremacy of Christ, that he is the one that they, like the scripture says, every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Like these entities. Uh, so some, some people find, find themselves in, in really weird situations with making packs with demons opening up doors to devils that they come in and they begin to go be schizophrenic they allow demons and, and dark energies within their auric field but it is through the supremacy of christ through by which these demons are cast out and they have to go and we've seen this many many times in demonic possession even in those who who claim to be abducted by aliens they'll be going through these uh, uh these crazy experiences and they'll just just get the word jesus out of their mouth and immediately these experiences stop immediately they're back in their room they find peace and the scripture talks about how jesus is able to open up doors and close doors that no man can open or close so I believe that there's doors that we can open in our own lives, in our own mind, in our own psyche, that Jesus is able to come in and close because they all have to, uh, they, they have to do what he says. And so I've seen that within my own life. If you read the introduction, I go into how uh, in, in my study of the occult and my study of some of the dark practices, I ended up opening up, up my mind and my life uh, to some of these entities that uh, wish to have me in a state of madness and schizophrenia as well. But I, uh, as well, went back to the light of Christ and found freedom for my soul. So that's the whole light of Christ. Also go into a uh, just supernatural encounters with Jesus and with that great light, uh, the light of the world, as it's called, and how we can we can uh, tap in for ourselves and encounter the depths of who, who Jesus is. I explore these concepts and more in my new book, Spirit Realm, Angels, Demons, Spirits, and the Sovereignty of God, forward by Jordan Maxwell, available now at truthseeker.com.